Welcome to our new video. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss about the admission controllers in Kubernetes. This entire series will be dedicated for the admission controllers. And we are going to discuss about the need for admission controllers and how they play a very crucial part in the security of the overall Kubernetes and how you can enforce different policies. So uh, we are going to be dividing this across the multiple series. So please uh, go through the entire series uh, so that you are able to fully understand how the admission controllers can be used for enforcing the policies in the Kubernetes to increase the overall security. So let's get started. What is admission controller? So the very first thing to understand is when, when we talk about the admission controller, basically, uh, as the name suggests, it intercepts the request for the Kubernetes API server. So whenever we have to interact with the Kubernetes, we are going to basically relay our uh, through an API request, which is basically served by the Kubernetes API server. Okay. Uh, so this API request is generally for creating of some object so before this uh, api request is received by the api server of the kubernetes to create a persistent object so there is a part where we have to perform the authenticated uh, it's authentication and authorization needs to take place this is where the config file uh, basically comes into the picture and uh, that's how we are going to interact with the kubernetes api server right uh, now uh, the admission controller is going to limit our create, delete, and modify object. What this means is that whenever you are going to interact, let's say you give a command line using the kubectl. So basically, it's going to convert that command into the background API request, which will be served by the API server. Now, before that actually happens, after your authorization and authentication has taken place by the config file, there will be a admission controller which is going to control your request whenever you are trying to create, delete, or modify some object. So that admission controller will be there in between uh, before your request can get fulfilled. Now, how many types of admission controllers are there? So basically, there are four types of admission controllers which the Kubernetes supports. First one is your mutating admission controller. Second one is your validating admission controller then custom admission controller and external admission controller. Now, this mutating admission controller and validating admission controller are most widely used. Then this custom admission controller and external admission controller, you will see that there are different products which have been created separately from the Kubernetes, but they use this uh, external admission controller and custom admission controller in order to provide you with the policy enforcement. Now, what is this policy enforcement, how you can use it, how it can be used for enforcing the security, all these things we are going to discuss ahead when we move and discuss more uh, this topic in more detail. 